Welcome back to season two of What's the Beat. I'm your host, Najee. Bonnie. I'm Ronnie. And we have a new co-host this season. I'm Zay. Okay, so let's get into like some hot topics. Um, so Venus though we're in Philly, you know, I see that the Eagles is basically on a winning streak and are going to the Super Bowl. So what about those Ooh. Eagles? Hey, Philly, Philly. Well, um, I was adopted into being an Eagles fan yeah. because my husband's an Eagles fan. I'm a Colts fan. I'm sorry I'm going to say that on television, yeah. but whatever. They're not in the Super Bowl, <laughs> clearly, but whatever. That's what I'm rooting for. I, I but I live in Philly and I am going to root for them. Anybody but the Right. So. Anybody got the picture? Yeah. The underdogs, let's go Philly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Okay. The, I think they have a very good chance at winning, though. So I will sure. definitely. Anybody going to the Super Bowl party? Yeah, uh, I'm going to a party. Oh, my husband thinks I'm having one. But, yeah. Okay. My mom um, is having a Super Bowl party. Um, she said, anybody want to come? You just got to have your um, jersey on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have no jersey. I wear a jersey. Not, she said it don't have to be an Eagles jersey. Any team, any any um football jersey. Yeah. Okay, I'll wear a green shirt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey. Come on. Hey. Hey. I think the Eagles is gonna win. I'm not a sports fan like at all. I don't like sports. I don't even watch it. Mm-hmm. But the Eagles go away. No, they so you go for away. what? The boots or the chips? And oh yeah, I sure am. And just look cute in my Eagles jersey and my lower hat. You know, know nothing about nothing it. Nothing about what's going on. I left that alone like when you I was 13, 14, you know what when I got hit, is. when I got hit on that field, I said, Mom, no, I'm cool. It's <laughs> dirty, you gotta be dirty with the cleats. I can't do that. Mm. You see how they said, Mom, no. I'm a sports fan. Um, so, yeah, it works for me. I like football. Baseball's a little boring sometimes. I watch that too. Go Celtics. <laughs> As you can see, I'm one of the Philly teams. But, so, moving right along. Okay, so um, being as though there was, you know, we're on the topic of Philadelphia, uh, I, well, this is a governmental issue. Uh, the government shut down, or was it just Philadelphia? No, no it was um, everywhere. That was, was the government shut, shut down. Right. Um, that was actually, I work for the government. It's one of my many talents, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was horrible. Like, that was really horrible because normally, because, you know, I was rooting, shut down, because I didn't go home, be home, and I would still get paid, like eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, but what they, and I was fine with it. I go home, you'll eventually pay me when we come back and y'all figure all that out. And that's fine, whatever. Um, and then they decided to change things around and say, okay, well, we are, we'll are we now make the people, the lowest men on the totem pole, the essential people. And the high-end people, the non-essential people, so they get to go home and sit home and make money. Mm -hmm. And we have to come in. And we came in, but we really couldn't do anything. Like, it was like, you can't take calls. You can't do this. You can't do that. And it was just like, well, what am I here for? Well, you know, I ain't beat about coming to work and sitting to eventually get paid. paid, You know, like, to say, I don't know. Because, you know, the last government shutdown was like 2013. And from what I hear, because I wasn't working for the government then, it took the union about almost two years for those people to get their money back. And um, I'm not sure if it, if that if it was that long or they were exaggerating, but I know it was longer than you wait in that two week period. So I was like, listen, we in between a pay period. I need to know if I'm getting my dub. I need all my coins, absolutely. So I was really most worried about my um, income taxes. Um, I wasn't for real. So that was the reason, to be quite honest. To be quite honest, that's the reason why they sent us to work, and it was just like this big thing. Like, no, you can't take calls. Then, then quality assurance called back and said, yes, you can take calls. No, you can't do paperwork. Then they called back and said, yes, you can do paperwork. Either way, for Bonnie. I was locked out of my phone. I was locked out of my computer. So it was just a day to just sit there. But that can be boring after a while. I was just sitting here like, please, Lord, just let's do something. Do something. Either send my behind home or or give me some work. So before the night was over, they did say, 
we come to um, they did agree to the continuum resolution but that continuum resolution is only until the 8th so there is a possibility that this coming Thursday we're going to have another government shutdown now they can play with Bonnie all they want to because yeah. what I will be doing is clocking my time and telling them <laughs> I'm calling out I'm sick I'm just <laughs> because I already got an approval date for my taxes so they better not shut down well no they don't got nothing to do Okay. Because okay, right. I was about to say, I got my approval date already. Yeah, that and don't that's mean that it's processed. You know, <laughs> take No, I didn't even um file my yet. Oh, I am working there, and I'm not filed. I just got my last um tax form from Atlanta. But so. it does. When you work there, you have to file and be compliant. So I'll be filing at least by the fifteenth. Whatever. Okay. Well, I hope happen. I get some money back. Well, we'll see what Trump okay. did. And we'll see how, how it works or whatever. So, what's the next topic? Um, one thing that I've heard recently, uh, and the news you know through social media, uh, was the founder and the founder of IKEA. Yes. Um, yes, the way? Ingar Kiprod. Oh, you know the name, huh? I just did. Yeah, it's Ingar Kiprod. Ingar Kiprod. Ingar Kiprod. Yeah, um, Ingar. <laughs> Yeah, Camp Rock. Or Kink Rock. He actually Kink he passed Rock. away. He passed away on Wednesday. And just to let you guys know that the word IKEA is Dutch too, and we've been pronouncing it wrong. Right. So this is how they let us be ignorant here in America because nobody would have no known, known that it is not IKEA but it's IKEA. IKEA. Ain't that crazy? Ikea. Mm. I'm, I'm still gonna call it IKEA. I'm still gonna call it IKEA. You gonna call it IKEA? Oh, because he think he does. Like Target, like Target, Target, Target. But he started the company um, when he was 17. Um, he was he was a founding. I'm reading right now. Um, he was a founding flat pack furniture company. He died at the age of 91. He lived a lot of years. Yes. Yeah, he 17. Really 17. That's the. 17. I became a step miss when I was 17. I mean, so we all, <laughs> we all hoping to get right there. Just, you know, what's the beat? Yeah, you know what? When I was younger, my grandma used to make us watch Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> and he said a song, I'm no fool, nursery, I want to live. And my grandma used to tell us that if we say what we want to live to, mm -hmm. that's the age that we're going to live to. So I used to be singing like, I want to live to be 2003. Oh, like, <laughs> You can't Ooh. tell me nothing. So he did live a lot of years. Ninety one. That's that's yeah. a whole lot yeah, of years. Yeah. Huh? And you know, you know, we all a lot of people probably didn't know about him or whatever. But you know, we all know of IKEA. But we I didn't even know, know IKEA him. was Dutch. You yeah. know, I wrote them off the moment that I had to put something together. So I don't even yeah. go in there. But, but it's the easiest furniture to put together, I think. I know that's why she. It's more so um, yeah, dormitory, yeah. Of yeah, first apartment furniture. But you know, yeah. like over there, yeah. but bachelor yeah. pad. I don't yeah. know. I can but, just put yeah. something. But up us the here is more dormitory style furniture and like like you said bachelor pad, but. For the Dutch and like the Swedish, they're, they're everything's right they're, It's smaller over there, mm -hmm. like so. That's really for their homes. That's and, their fancy. Yeah, that's their fancy for real, for real. If you think of, probably think yeah, about it. Yeah, it's cute. It's real cute. That's but it's, that's it's all it is. It's one of them walk around. And then you think about it in sweat. China, because because IKEA is international. So you think about it in China, it really fits. You know the Chinese culture mm -hmm. and you know the small but, form of. Somebody, it ain't American, but y'all gonna throw any uh, anything here and the yeah, I mean, hey. and people gonna be like IKEA. Yes, that's where I went, baby. Mm -mm. I love IKEA. It's IKEA, Price. It's IKEA. Oh, sorry. IKEA. Yeah. 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 I love IKEA and you know it's basically <laughs> price for me, but I mean I don't really get too much stuff in there. It's like odds and ends. A know. pillow. Yeah. A pillow. Yeah, you know, pillow. Some dishes. Some dishes. Oh of yeah. So don't get me wrong. The dishes and pillow you know cases. like those stuff. Those things are little. Did. When I you did. start doing beds, I like my bed to sit up high and stuff like they that. They got little things. Yeah. The I don't little, got time. I used to do bed rises in college. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we grown. <laughs> but you gotta think about they. I had a bed set from IKEA. Ikea, <laughs> but the, the, my bed set was very nice. It was on the floor. It was like very nice. On the floor? No, it was on the floor. Like my, but it's a, it was a nice bed. Like I know you, you get, it was real nice. Like I, I liked it. It was like one of those ones that. But it was very basic. now. It was very basic. nice, basic. But now I think IKEA is more so like good for mountain mount pieces, like on the wall type things, like yeah. nothing else, nothing less. Yeah. A vase. So maybe they bag for laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I use they bag. So you know, guys, just go look these things up if you 
you know, you're very interested. We just touched base on our hot topics a little bit. So, you know, check out IKEA, IKEA, however you want to put it. You know, the government shut down because that may be happening again on the 8th and how it may affect you. These are things that we do yes. need to know. And um, also, what was our other topic? The Eagles. Oh, oh and the Eagles. So, the, I'm sorry. There we go. So, just don't forget. And those are our hot topics. If most of you should know, which some of you may not, um, we're a part of the drill team industry, and most recently we had a um, few developments in our industry, and one of them was it was the organization Yes. Um, yes stands for Youth Empowerment Society. So they recently had a competition. Yeah, they did. Um, um, I can't remember the exact date. I did go though. I did go. Uh, did you, you go? go? No. no. I did. Go. And you guys didn't go. I, did. okay. I was supposed to go. I do believe though, because it was supposed to go just you know just to. Right. Right. Yeah, just to go, you know, get to see what it was and what it was about. So, um, so if you didn't go, did you watch it on live? Yeah, or I watched it online. No, I, saw I, watched, it I just online. saw it on Facebook. You saw comments yes, on Facebook? Yeah, on Facebook. Okay, so... Yeah, I watched um, it on A scale from 1 to 10, what would you rate what you saw and what you read on Facebook? Um, I would rate it like a 7 and a half. Okay. What would you rate it? Um, I would rate it like a... Like a six. Okay. And from us being there, um, I would give it a five and a half, a five, five and a half. Um, my reasonings were because walking in, like I walked in, you know, no holding anything or anything like that. But it was like the environment, it wasn't the vibe wasn't a welcoming and a fun vibe. I didn't get that atmosphere. I mean, I enjoyed the performances and everything like that. But as far as walking in and being like, oh, we had a competition and everything like that, mm -hmm. I wasn't getting it. Maybe because I didn't perform or I wasn't performing or anything like that, but it was just so, it was, it was just like very a somber mood, I should say. Like oh, that. for me, it was, um, a typical competition um, in terms of just it being comp like being a competition um, I don't have any issues with it besides just feeling like you know hopefully they realize um, the magnitude of um, what they what they bring right. so in terms of um, the business aspect of it I would hope that they find a bigger venue because there were I don't think that they wrote that they thought that it was going to be as big as it was but it was definitely a big crowd and a big turnout um so I just shout out to y'all turnout yeah sure not shout out to the turnout um you know so I didn't really have a problem with the competition I would rate it um like a seven and a half or so I don't necessarily give people tens all the time like it kind of just depends um, and I don't really have anything else to go on but mm -hmm. that particular competition mm -hmm. so for me at this point um in terms of you know that of obviously anybody can can progress and get better in things it wasn't horrible um I feel like there could have been a lot of things that could have went wrong for for that day that, that did not go day. wrong right. so therefore you have to give credit where credit is due right. so therefore for me it was like you know a seven and a half and I I you know per se enjoyed the performances and it was a cool day for me well I'll just say why um I said it was a seven and a half uh I think it was I only because like I said I only seen things via the internet um right. like from my life my life? Um, I've seen a few of yours, mm -hmm. um, but I really was watching it from the Drill Team TV. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep tabs with us, Drill Team TV. We're around, we're out. Yeah, um, hopefully we go live in the competition. But, um, you know. yeah, yeah, I think I would give it like a seven and a half, like, because I wasn't, like, at first, like, it was just like kind of like the host and just like 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 Bonnie said the uh, the recreation that they had. And I can say that too, yeah. The, the venue that they had that it wasn't like really 
big enough for their pride. It was like an awkward kind of place. Yeah. But like she said, they, they maybe didn't know that you know they were had that big turnout, which I don't believe. I've never either. been in a gym that only had one side. Yeah, that definitely was weird <laughs> to me. I didn't. It, it was like that's what I said. Well, that's it was probably like, like an so, elementary school uh, or something. I think it was so, like a community center or something like that. That's what it's yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. So yeah. I, you know, I can understand. Um, it was supposed to be mm-hmm. at Atlantic City, and I know something about like with Atlantic City's floors or that something. Or, yeah, yeah, something of the nature where they weren't able to have it there. So you know, in terms of it having to been. I kind of feel like they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't um, because if it had been at Atlantic City High School then it would have been so big that people would have been like it wasn't popping nobody was there Mm because Atlantic City is so big and compared to all the people that were there they probably would have filled up one side but not necessarily the other side because Atlantic City is so huge so then we have it at this smaller school and they got what they could get and mm-hmm. it was like it's packed to the max you know it reminded me of our first competition at NHEP when we were at um, Frankfurt High School <laughs> even though Frankfurt High School was, 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 was their first competition that was their no it wasn't their first competition it was the one of the extravaganza no, well no extravaganza was. wasn't a competition right, so right. it was the it was the competition after, after yeah. the extravaganza so it was the first competition because that was our our L ZP's first time open drilling as drummers. Okay. So that was our first our first actual competition and it was at, you know, Frankfurt was pretty small and we yeah. had both sides and we had to remove the drill team. So you can just imagine they only had one side and still had to move right. the drill team. So, you know. So, yeah. I know piggybacking off of that, my lives came up. Yeah, so um, you did have a live. Your live did. I had several lives. A, a couple of them came yeah, up. Yeah, I know. went live um, for numerous reasons, but um, the main the reason was, you know, if you guys want to pay for my um, the the actual gigabytes on my phone, that would be great, and then I'll just do videos, and you won't have to worry about people talking um, in the background and commenting too much and okay. thinking that people are commenting on but the But even then, when you smart. posted on Facebook, whatever kid was in the background, people could comment. Anybody. It was just what happened. It was, it was more so the comments and not the comments in the background. Yeah. There weren't really comments in the background. Okay. It was more or less so the people that were actually right. commenting, Comment. and okay. so therefore there was a lot of backlash, which you know, in my eyes. As long as my conscience is clear, I rightfully don't have any. Right, to because I her. said, like this next to Bonnie, I said behind Bonnie and the bleachers and everything like that, and I like I watched her live, and I watched her beat on live. So when I came home and I seen all of the debacle that was going on, or you know the internet, this new word, the debacle, the debacle, okay, <laughs> the debacle that was going on and everything on Facebook. You know, I went and I looked and then I seen a couple of things and it drew me into going to watch her live. So I watched her. I live had to go back and watch like, my own live. And, and I was know, like, what? It wasn't. Bonnie saying anything at all, it was the people commenting. You can never control who's commenting when you're live. But all. you know, apparently you can, so like, that's neither here nor there. My thing was, as long as I ain't said nothing about the vice kids and I ain't said nothing that I, that I didn't feel as though I was justified to say or it was not in the right way, my conscience is clear. So I didn't have nothing to prove to nobody or anything like that. I did a live, I did a live so that that way that stuff won't be saved on my phone and I have space to do whatever it is that I want to do. And or my kids want to do, and it can be on Facebook. And those who didn't come, who said they were going to come, or who wanted to come, or didn't want to come but still wanted to watch it, whatever the case may be, you were able to watch it. Not only live, but you can go back and watch it. You know how many friend requests I received while I was live, just from the first live, like. I got all these friend requests from people that I, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know you to be a part of the drill team, but to be quite honest, mm-hmm. like, I feel like it was sisters, cousins, brothers, it's everybody. Like, and, oh, Bonnie oh, 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 And then after the live, when all the debacle came about on, on <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> then it was like, yes, when all the debacle came about, then it was like, I'm getting more friend requests. And I'm just like, access freaking denied. Yeah, like, man. absolutely not. I, this is not what we're going to do. Like, and then I'm not going to be the scapegoat for anybody to just be like oh well it was her live and da 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 here we go you know everybody's their children that's where they and yeah. Yeah, it was talking about people kids whoever was if you got a problem with whoever was talking that's what you got that's what your problem is with that's what your problem is with. No. and it's not with me no. so i just recorded it that's yeah. it and if you have an issue with that that's fine that's fine mm-hmm. i got enough friends yeah, no, That's no need for any more. I'm okay with that. So like, I am where I'm at in life. So, like, do you guys like have any like suggestions like that would 
you know, kind of help other than the venue? Like, well, I, to be quite honest, I feel like you need a season under your belt mm -hmm. kind of for, for it to be like, here are some suggestions um, in terms of like, um, very like broad about it. But for me, right now, what you really should be focused on right. is finding yourself a bigger venue yeah, because okay. that right there, for one, when you think about it, uh, Modern Legends always comes with a big fan base. They always come with a fan. Like, I don't know if those people catch the bus or them parents is just on it. Right. But what I can say is they always come with a big fan base. And then you have, um, shout outs to Christian and his team, Precision Steppers, Cadets, Precision mm -hmm. Cadets. Um, I know from firsthand with him being on like Trinity and stuff like that, those Jersey teams support their kids. So they had a lot of family there as well. A lot of parents and um, shout out to them because your girls are looking great. Um, they had a lot of parent support. So that is definitely something like a team. And then it was in Atlantic City. So Atlantic City had a lot of their, they had the dance team and they had um, their their drill team. And so there was a lot of people there on top of the, the drill teams that aren't in the organization who came. I know just from RLZP alone, that was me, Val, Kia. Those are the three directors. And then my sister was there. And then like half of the drum line, like mm -hmm. more than half of the drum line was actually there. So I had a good portion of my team that was there. And so could you imagine how many people who weren't performing, who brought their, you know, who brought their a fan base with them right. to come and actually perform? watch so i just feel like my my first thing would be to find some type of uh, to find a bigger venue mm -hmm. and that's no fault of their own considering they had a big venue mm -hmm. and things then happen. things happen like something happened with the floor and they couldn't use that so they did what the best that they can do so i you know my suggestion would just be to make sure that you find a place that's definitely going to be open for a bigger venue for everybody to come and, and continuously support. Um, with that being said, they do have an open house. Um, so if any of you guys are looking to be a part of the YES organization, there is a flyer out. You can contact Tehran, you can contact um, Tawanda, you can contact SUNY, you can contact um, Greg Macon. I'm not sure of anybody else that you can contact, but those are just the names off my... So we'll definitely get a hold of the flyer and post it on Yeah, so when page. we get a hold of the flyer, we'll post that on our page too, and you know, good luck to those teams that have competed, and good luck to the teams that are coming up to compete. Yeah, being as though um, my team is not in the organization, um, I really don't know what goes on internally for me to get, any, you know, any like feedback, of, and, yeah, uh, feedback like internally uh, like type. yeah and, and anything like that um only thing i can say is the same thing that bonnie said you know um look for a bigger venue um we know things happen or whatever but that's it and um i would also like to say thank you for opening up um you know another um segue yeah for, segue yeah, for, for the, kids. the kids you know to perform and do what do excuse me what they love to do and that's perform and drill so within HET, that is the organization that um, has been prominent right now for the last, this is their third season. So honestly, it's been the only platform up until recently um, that the drill teams have been able to um, use as an outlet. Um, I know my team is a part of it. My team is a part of it. Um, you guys were a part of it. We were a part of it. I mean, my director. It's Sean the CEO, Darius, right. CEO president. Right. So, yes. Yeah, so, um, I know that this is season three and it has me absolutely excited. Um, we just been having just growing and having so many things um, to to do. We just had the dodgeball game and that was like a very big thing. It was like the second annual dodgeball game yeah, yeah, and right. um, I wasn't able to go. I, I am. Um, I do hold a position on um, in head staff. And I also have a drill team that's a part of NHEAD. Um, so I kind of, you know, am twofold with the situation. And I wasn't able to go because I was working. But just from everybody, from the staff, from the board, from on down to my members that went, um, it was just an all of all Facebook. fun day, great. Yeah. I saw the pictures. It was a lot of people there. And I'm just 
it elated that it went it it went so well because mm-hmm. um, people don't understand what it goes through, what it go like what it takes to go through some of these things in terms of you know like planning these events and things like that right. you don't know if it's going to go well you put out all this money and you're not sure how it's going to work and even though in the group people were like I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming people who aren't even people use that as like date night like mm-hmm. there were people that was there that was like like they saw Tiana and they're like, What you doing here? She's like, This is my organization. She's like, Oh, we saw the flyer and decided to come as like a date night. And it's just like, Yeah, like take somebody to get hit for face at all. However, it was cute, it was nice, and um, I'm just glad that it was very, um, it was very successful. And so, my hope is just that each year it can grow and and it be successful. Yeah, this year it was like 500 people. Yes, I mean I don't know. Was, I don't know. Was, yeah, but probably was, something of that large. It was a large magnitude of people. Um, okay. I didn't get to go, so I'm not dark, sure. Right? Sure, it was yes, going it was to going to yeah. I didn't get to go, but like the reviews and everything that I got from I was it, just, I heard yeah, that I, it was I, like I a real power event. Yeah, 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 and everything like that it was glowing in the dark and everything. I uh, had other things to do. Sorry, guys. So I couldn't bring my team out, but yeah, I heard it was a real power event. You could have sent your team. Though. Well, maybe we can go to the next one. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll challenge you since you guys won the last one. You the next won last time, year. Won last year. Iconic. Yeah, iconic. Last, won last year. year. Last year. So the last next year time is that Inhead has a dodgeball mass confusion challenges. Iconic. iconic. Or no. And whatever. iconic. I mean, what we um, won, what we did bougie, win. So we they came win to support with their money, and that was it. They wasn't trying to get hit with no balls. Well, maybe we should call out all the kids and all the kids to challenge well, that's all that's all that's all yes. so all get your little team so together. So y'all can challenge us. Wait, hold it, y'all going to have the kids. Yeah, challenge us for it. I'm trying to get them ball. Oh, so we going to do a What's the Beat challenge? Yes. What's, what's the beat? Yes. Yeah, so who won? Oh, okay. Win? So who what's good? What's the beat? <laughs> <laughs> I do my stop drop to roll. Okay, you, so, uh, you can't tell me. No, I'm so just with sure. Season, so just aim low. With the so. season and everything, and you know, like, what would you guys, <laughs> like, the progression that they had, what would you guys, like, rate it on a scale from 1 to 10? Well, um, I'll give my rating a little later. However, um, I feel like. I see the progression. Mm-hmm. Like I see the progression from Definitely. from the begin from from season one until this season, and even the progression from uh, from the uh, extravaganza this year mm-hmm. just to going into our third comp. Which, by the way, is February seventeenth. It's going to be in Willowboro, so please make sure you're there because it's Come a show that out. you don't want to miss. Um, just giving a little bit so people people who don't know um we have changed over into the categories um from from actually like age categories Mm -hmm. to kind of like your skill level so um i would just say that if you're trying to get into world step it up step it up all the way all the way whatever you're trying to do whatever you're trying to do if you're trying to get bumped up in any category step it up i mean even even for myself you know step it up i want to read it to 10 Oh, you want to rate it a 10? 10, ten as well. Okay. 10 as well. So, you're going to rate it a 10 and... Why are you going to rate it a 10? Please, and please tell me. Um, I'm going to rate it a 10 because... Well, I believe it deserves a 10, but I'm going to rate it a 10 because of, of the organization that I've been in, which was only prior to this, I believe, it was just AMAC. Okay. And um, from what I was getting from there, from the way that it was like... You know, unorganized. Like when I've dealt with with AMA, I have never seen and had have those mistakes. So I believe that they, you know, you know, they 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 develop what they were asking for. You know, what everyone was asking for for so many years. Because I don't see those mess ups. They might have mess ups now. You know, or little inside things that aren't all the way there. But okay. there are no like it's nothing that. You came from that you you know that you were trying to leave and you, you can't come here. I mean, you know, basically they came here. Well, since we're giving ratings and I said I was gonna get my later, I didn't know we were gonna hit that so fast. But um I would have to agree. I would give a ten. Um 
mine would be a 10 because I've been here from the beginning in terms of my drill team. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of feel like um, I see the progression if we're going to go with um, the progress that has been made. I see them evolving. I see them trying to have the drill teams evolve and um, take accountability and just grow in general. Right. And I see the vision. And this is not because I hold a position on their um, on the staff because I do try to give both angles mm -hmm. of how I feel about things. As a director, it doesn't necessarily mean I get it as I would as an actual staff member. As a staff member, I can say, well, the business aspect of it is saying right. this, that, and the fourth. But if you want my opinion as the director and mm -hmm. how I feel about it, looking at it, how you present it, it's not, it's not always, I don't always feel the same way about it. Okay. So I try to give both aspects so that they can get an idea of, yeah, on the business side of things, I can give you my response. But as a director, I'm going to give you the response that not only me, but probably 10 other okay. directors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. feel that way and then that way that can make you say how can we make this work for everybody right. for us as a board and for the drill teams as a whole so that we can all it can all be one common ground however I do give it a 10 because I see the progression and I'm just excited for where it's going so. got two 10s would you rate it? well I said 10 too also oh yeah um, that's 30 just um just Knowing Darius, mm -hmm. okay. the CEO, just you know, being under him, anything that he, you know, he put his hands on, he uh, he's make sure that it's going to be a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? As you should. And then he got a great should. staff that's behind him, that's doing also a great Shout job. Out to and there are people, you know, that grew up with Darius or you know compete against, and it, it's, mm -hmm. it's amazing me that they all can come together mm -hmm. and then just do one good thing for kids. It's just like it's to me. I just look at the whole thing. It's like. They making sure everybody is good. You know, making okay. sure you know the kids is great. They got nice judges. I, I mean, I haven't seen judges that's like that that they got. You know, from like you see, like they. I think they it's a fair out, system, and I, and I and I yeah. and I I totally um, am totally with it. It's definitely mm -hmm. a fair system. Um, just you know, just I just give it a ten. I just know that you know he has a, he's a a good it's not a great man. System. That's what I'll say. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a good staff. System. I just like I just like it's more clean. Than EMG because EMG used to be sloppy, AMA used to be strict, but this is I, I don't. But yeah, I give them a ten. Shout out to the Enhet staff. Shout out to the Enhet board. The, the board. Oh, I'm sorry, and board. I'm sorry, staff is giving very much more. Yes. Um, <laughs> Ma would give it a an eight. Okay. I would give it an eight. Um, from. Season one to season now. What happened in season one? Um, a couple, well, not just in season one. You know, just the period of, like I said, from season one to season now. Oh, okay. So, um, just a couple of in different interactions and different encounters. You know, that right. I've personally had with the organization itself. Okay. Not just you know solely with one person. I don't want to make it seem like it's a personal thing or anything, but. With the organization, yes, because if you know Naji, you know we go to these meetings. Yeah, because I go to the meetings. I, I listen. I go to the the firm meetings. That's what they call it. I go to the firm meetings, and I'm one of the ones. And he's that, firm, like, and it drives me nuts. And I don't hold this tongue, and you know I say, you know, I do it respectfully sometimes, and I say, you know, if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it, and you know, it's all because I feel like in my heart that you know my kids or you know my team itself would benefit from it if you know if it was differently. That's the only reason I stand strong to my opinions and the way I feel. But yeah, I would give it um, an eight. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So if you give it an eight because of that, or do you have? But what's the, pro the progress? The progression. I mean, the progression. The progression factor of it is like you know, some things. Mm -hmm. Yes, chips. Put this on, you know, like, ready, 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 ready. ready. Okay, so like when not to compare, not to do any type of comparison or anything, okay. but when you know, in had the organization started, we were in a, a faulty time with another organization, the AMAC. We were in a very faulty time with AMAC. We didn't know what to go left or to go right. So you know, it has started, and some of the pitches and you know some of the things that you know were coming from the board or 
or members of the board, it was, you know, certain things that, you know, I'll say it caught my attention. I don't know if it caught anyone else's attention, or however right. it went, but it caught my attention. Um, some of the things that they wanted from the, the American Marching Association was for them to actually feed the kids. And it was, you know, in the pitch, it was, you know, that's one of the things that we want to try to eventually do is we want to try to feed the kids. And, you know, that was something I'm like, okay, I'm all for it. Like, y'all y'all want to feed the kids. Like, and I understand it. Like, we hear all day, you know, directors come out their pocket too much, you know, just to get to the competition, to be at the competition and for parents not to send kids with any money, then we have them eat breakfast in the morning, you know, not to blame it on the parents, but, you know, for that, like, we're kicking out money already to get to the competition, had to kick out more money for food. You telling us you're going to feed our kids? Oh, definitely. Like, let's get it going. And eventually it will happen. But, you know, that's one of the things I'm still waiting for. That's not the sole reason why I rated it, you know, an eight. But, you know, it kind of plays a part. Right. It doesn't play a part in my 10, but I can agree um, that has been something that I can say that I have touched on. Um, I am big with you have to give a little to get a little um or sometimes give a little to get a lot you know mm -hmm. like you know how they say in church like you pay your tithes your 10 percent, and that eventually comes back to you some way somehow so yes right. definitely on plays on your blessings so i kind of know it is not anyone's responsibility but the fam but the the parents to you know make sure their kids um eat and make sure their kids have the money to eat throughout the day a lot of that does sometimes fall on or a good portion of the time fall on the directors but then at the same time it's one of those things um not to compare because i'm not um i do know like the elks organization they actually do um feed your kids mm -hmm. um so depending on what it is like when it's like the little parades and stuff like that i know they give like hot dogs and stuff but i know that when we went to atlanta they gave us burger king it might have been cool but they gave us burger king um <laughs> so you know we did get you know they do feed and definitely still not to compare because when you look at the elks organization that is not an organization that's solely based on providing um an the outlet, outlet for, drill for for drill teams or an outlet just for the community mm -hmm. but they do that as another way of giving back because i'm sure as the organization that they are they have to have a certain amount of uh things like a certain amount of um programs that they do that they give back to so that these non-profit money the non-profit money that comes in they see it come in and they see it also go back out and when it goes back out too right. so not to compare like you said they said eventually and we don't know when eventually is um i eventually could be you know yeah. nationals eventually could eventually could be next season eventually could be the season after you know but i do hope that that is something that is you know when we talk about what we can do to better the organization in terms of how you keep people coming back mm -hmm. and it's sometimes it is those little things like it doesn't necessarily have to be the fact that you give a scholarship I'm not saying that you can't. I like the scholarship, but like last year, no one took advantage right. of the scholarship, as they said. So that could have been a way you could have used that money that you had for the scholarship that nobody took advantage to took advantage of to say, hey, we're going to feed your kids the national. And just throw it in as a surprise. Like, yeah. yeah kid, all the your team kids eat free today. Yeah, like or whatever. So I just kind of feel like there are ways to combat it. I do know that people it has come up mm -hmm. um, by more than one drill team. So I do feel like there is a way to combat at it. I feel like before it shot down to say the number and this and that and that and it seemed like it, it's about money there is a way to combat it hey if you have an idea of yeah. how I can feed everybody and not lose out on the money that we need to keep putting into the organization to fund it then by all means throw it on the table but right. I feel like sometimes it gets thrown back because it's about making sure that we have the the funds that we need to make sure that the organization keeps running and i still think that even with being able to feed these performing members you still will have the money that you need to fund the organization it's just all of it's just about sitting down and actually properly planning right i believe that and i think that's true so i think that's what plays the way you know for us. any well i do want to give a shout out to the to another performing artist, so, you know, besides drill team, okay. you know, it's dancing too. Okay. So I want to give a shout out to all the dance teams. 
Absolutely. So you know they show they love when in yeah, both yes, organizations. Yeah, yes, yes had a um, yes had a, a dance section and that was yeah. actually pretty cool. Shout out to um, all those dancers. And had had the, the first season, right? Mm -hmm. The first season. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they did. Yeah, they had it the first I had season. A dance team. Oh yeah, you did have I a dance team, yeah. And you caused a lot of ruckus in those meetings. Yeah, but I would let that go. But and, um, and, and <laughs> do open up the doors for a lot. Like it does. Like the it dancers does. or anything that you. Uh, okay, so well, since we're still we're just on the internet topic, you know. Um, I want to give a shout out to the CEO, um, my brother Darius. Um, regardless of, you know, what has happened, you know, with us in the past, like I said, I've been through, you know, different encounters with the organization. So regardless of, you know, what has happened in the past, I just want to let him know, like, don't stop. Like, just keep going. Regardless if you feel like you're going to lose people from, you know, trying to portray your vision and, you know, getting what your vision Put your is, vision out there. Get it out there. And you're going like, to have people that's going to hold on and, and ride the wave. So exactly. put it out there. So, like, don't, don't stop yourself from pushing us. Like, keep pushing us so we can push them. And them meaning the kids. <laughs> and you just know. thank you. Thank you. Again, yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for the stand. Thank you for the seat. Just thank you for the vision. Thank you for the outlet. And, and not just Darius. I'm sorry. Not just Darius. Right. That's why I said to the board. Thank in you general, to the board. Like, to yeah, all to of you all guys, guys. Because you sat down. You, and you and guys came up with something. Said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you because it is something for our kids to right. do. I see the I see the vision, I see the progression, and I see the longevity in things. So keep it up. Keep it up. Hashtag Thank you. Trust, trust the, the process. process. Absolutely. So, um, do we have any events coming up? Um, I know you guys have a bowling party. Yes, we have RLZP. Get your tickets. $20 a ticket. They are definitely on sale. It gets you your food. If a director comes in and they have five staff or just five team members, the director gets their ticket for free. You get in for free. You get a drink, whether it's an alcoholic beverage or it's a regular, you know, non-alcoholic beverage. You but it. you definitely get that with your food. Um, we have the whole bowling alley. So, come in. It's kid-friendly. 8 30 to 12 30 if you you know want to bring your kids just from 8 30 to 10 perfectly fine have the decided be for the kids have the other side be for the adults we got a dj so turn it up 70 seconds and we're at bns lanes yes bns lanes bns Elwood. lanes make sure you come out and support you know just turn up you know like she said you get a ticket you get food you get drinks you know it's kid friendly for the adults the djs and turn up it's a mix so you know Come out, you know, and don't do forget it. to come out to our competition February seventeenth. Right, it's the right. same day, so same it's the, the competition, and then the after party, go bowling, the go dub. home, wash your butt, and let's go. Oh, it's yeah. time, then let's get it cracking. But I'm don't miss no February seventeenth, no matter what, because this is going to be. It's going to. Be, it's our last competition before. Semi. It's our last bump. Yeah. So you know the that teams too. can get bumped, and the teams that's trying to get the world, it you know. Just in case you guys like really didn't know, we actually again have gone from the um the age cop age uh, categories to your skill level. So you know it's novice trying to get into A and A trying to get into open and open trying to get into world. So and let's go. You, let's go. Like bring your A game. Let's and I just have nothing but faith that this is well, going to be like one of the I best will, shows I will, be I will say so, I will say um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this but uh, one of my squads did get bumped up Hey, bump, so did my three of my squads got bumped. What well, squad well, we did well, we did well, we did one. I'm not saying what squad got bumped I'm not saying what squad got bumped up. What's Candace? I mean, it's like what, all right, what's the situation though? Hold on, I'm not done talking. Wait, you got but my squad got bumped one? up. Okay, so yeah, so let me give you let me give you guys Kansas, the right, So you have yeah, a certain um, you have a certain score that you have to stay within to stay within your category. Mm -hmm. okay. So to get out of novice into A, you need novice. 75 or above. To get out of A into um wait, no. Um, I think you need a 65 or above to get out of 75, no 75. novice to A. Yeah, and then it's 85, and then it's 95. Cause only three Absolutely, days. right. So it's 75, right? And then um, in A into open, you need an 85 to get into open. And then to get into world, you need a 94. So what ended up happening for the first show, people got their scores and were, some of them were bumped up. Um, so you had the option for the first the first time, you had one option and one option only. You can decline your bump. Mm -hmm. 
and, and stay in the category that you're in, or you can say yes. So I know for my team, both of my drummers accepted their bumps, and my intermediate squad is going to stay where they're at. And just, you know, if you get bumped again, though, you cannot decline your bump. You yeah. have to, it's just an automatic it's time bump. To move. It's, time, it's to time to move, and that's it. So well, I'm not saying you know, I got bumped, and if I declined or if I declined. Well, I don't care because. You yeah, know, I got a squad that got bumped. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I don't care because I don't my kids gonna come care. regardless with oh, all they get. So you not let people know who got bumped? You gonna see? I seven. know who got bumped anyway. So it's okay. <laughs> okay. Because she when they stand, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's like, okay. No, it's not even like that. It's not even like no, that. I'm playing. It's okay because I'm Actually, watching. I don't know who got bumped, to be quite honest. So that's, that's the other thing. But, but I think um, I will know. You were alright on the seventeenth. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, can't wait to see. Well, who got judging it. from the performances, I know who got bumped. Ooh, but okay, so I didn't. So, so I'm on the staff, so I didn't see. So it's bumped up and bumped back. No, I don't think no. No, it's bumped. Well, there bumped is a bump back. Excuse me. Excuse me. Actually, <laughs> actually, um, there is a bump back. There oh. is. A bump back, but that's on more of a consistent basis. So no one got bumped back because you have to consistently be doing that. Like you have to, you can have a bad day, but you can't consistently have a bad season. So you can't be in world and keep getting eighty five. So you because that means you are not qualified to be in world. So if you are qualified to be in open because you keep consistently getting open scores. But that's what I'm saying. So what if you get a score of a A? Then oh, you're in world. world. No, I mean you can. You, you can get bumped back, right? One you time. can. Like, what if you get so, bumped so bumped here's bumped. the thing. For instance, I'll use my my oh, open yeah. squad as an example. Um, we're in open, and um, we did not have a great show at all. Like we mm -hmm. literally pulled our team off the floor, so we didn't even complete. However, that's not a consistent. So they didn't bump y'all down. They let y'all stay where y'all was at. And for now, for now, but right. was your score worthy enough to be in the category? They didn't get under seventy-five. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, they didn't get under seventy-five. That's what I'm saying. So if if, if y'all got if y'all get under the score, I believe that that's it is to get, get in. Yeah, do you get bumped? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, so here's the so so here's the thing. Okay, so here's seventy. Here's the thing. If it's one time, would you get bumped back because that's the category? I think so. No, but here. Okay, so here's the thing. Because we were kind of placed in our categories when it came down to this is generally speaking because things are ever changing mm -hmm. so this could definitely be something that they have to bring to the table and work it out again um but from what from what as a director that we're getting is um we had we were placed into our categories right. so you didn't really have a chance to consistently score under the score so you got an 80 let's just say you got 85 mm -hmm. it put you in open and then the next show you might not have did so well and you got a 71. But that's not a consistent um a consistent thing because the next show you can get 85. Because in the next show you could have gotten another 85 is what is what I'm saying. Like okay. you kind of get what I'm saying. So it's kind of like you have to consistently do bad to be like you're really not qualified for this for this music. You don't some people have a good one show. Okay. And then, right. but to consistently have bad shows, I mean, you are, okay. it's not a consistent bad show. You aren't consistently doing bad. You are consistently do, performing on your level. So that means we have totally out. That's why you have a chance to decline your bump. Right. Or go ahead and take your bump. Because if my team is at an 85 and they on the cusp, I don't know that you're going to get that 80. I feel like if I can say that you are consistently a not a performing A class, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to decline that bump because I don't know what you're going to give me and I'm the next how performance. You, right. And, right. and, then, no and now if you consistently perform at that cusp, then it just I think it's it like two chances because that's what it is because it seems like it, the way they say if you can decline your bump but the next time if you if you consistently score that same score or above you have no option so that's it so you just got a bump that you decline and now you have another bump but after that that's it so leading into semis that's a wrap yeah they're not bumping from right. semis to right you, you just so again if y'all coming to like get pushed up into a category, come with your A game. 
Absolutely. Like, I'm with your A-game. And like I said, including myself, including my... Read the sheets. Read the sheets. As your directors, all the choreographers, as your directors, we get these sheets in the meeting. Read your sheets. If you need to know where you're where you're at and what you have to do to get to the next level to improve that score, read your sheets. It, it's there. And your sheets alone... We will possibly... be watching. <laughs> I'll, I'll be doing a little bit of both. Like, just because... Um, yeah, we are going live, but again, I want to stay. So bad. not only am I working, but I'm <laughs> drilling, and it's, it's just a much. it's a lot. It's but much. I wear a lot of hats, and I like the challenge. So it's actually nothing to me. Um, I did it last competition. Mm -hmm. So when you um, say when you wear a lot of hats, what you mean? Like you're in your zone. Like, no, yeah, I just do a lot of things. Change. I'm the director, which I'm not the director okay, okay, for the okay, day, sort of kind of, because I have to be in head staff okay. for that day. So I have to do my job. Right. So I'm not really director. Um, but I am director because Your that's just what there. I do. <laughs> and my name's on there. And when it comes down to So your me, team really don't be seeing you like that because you got to be... No, they see me because I, I handle the administration okay. side. That's me. Okay. So when it comes down to it, when they looking for something that went wrong, okay. they still yeah, come get me. Okay. They were still coming to get okay. me. Um, so therefore, while I'm not actually like, where are you supposed to be at? I'm kind of walking past you and forgetting mm -hmm. that I need to check you real yeah. quick. Um, I am still involved. So right. I'm director, I am in head staff, and then I drill. Right. So the good, about, about, the good part about the good part about drilling in open is that I go pretty much last, and the gist of the show, right, right. every we have worked out the kinks of things, and everything is you know going on. Good, you know, shout out to in that board, and shout out to the staff because we have wonderful staff members that are just you know there to help the day to day, like to help that game day operation just run as smooth as possible. So I'm glad that we have the people in place because it's really nothing to just be like, hey, I'm about to go get dressed, gotta go on inspection, mm -hmm. gotta do this. Um, I did it last last comp and it worked out perfectly fine. So I'm just anticipating being able to do it again. Y'all should give out t-shirts. Yo, be quiet. Come, <laughs> come on, shout outs, you know, before we wrap this up, um, I want to give a shout out just from hearing everything that everyone was saying to every drill team staff. If you have staff for your drill team, shout out to the staff because like Bonnie said, they play a big part if you as a director or whatever your role is, can't handle it, you can always look for your staff to handle it. So shout out to every drill team. Let staff start. Shout out to the Yes organization again for, you know, giving a new outlet for the kids, you know, to perform and doing everything that they love to do yes. and doing what they're doing that they, uh, that they do best. Sorry, again. Um, and shout out to Inhead, you know, for the same thing, for giving the kids another outlet to do what they love to do. Not just the kids, the the, the adults, the everything, just you know, everything. whenever it's I positive. start, you know, that positive. whole, I have to put kids in quotations because it annoys me greatly. So therefore, um, therefore for me, it's just shout out for the positive okay. right. movement right. of everything that everybody, the platform that, ev that you're putting on the table for everyone, because it doesn't just work for the kids. It is an outlet for the kids, and but it's also an outlet for, for the adults. You know? still it is still, and I still march, but it is, it's like adults. It's like the men who play football and basketball. They don't get paid for that either, but it's an outlet for them to go and stay in shape and whatever. It's a so good I just, therapy. It's a, yeah, like it's a definitely therapy. a good therapy. I go and I lay it all on the line and that is it. It keeps me in this weight loss process down to right. the end. Right. So listen, right, okay, <laughs> sometimes. So okay. I just shout out to everybody, mm -hmm. like just just everybody for just laying it all out there and giving it all that you got, putting all your ideas out there to give an outlet for the kids, you know, shout out to Inhet in your third season because you are doing great things and continuously do those great things. I wish yes, nothing the but, drummer. and the drummers, I wish yes, nothing but success and, and hopefully longevity. Um, and I just, you know, my hope and prayer is just that, that we get more organizations. Yes, and we all can just get along and keep it moving. There's no, you know, it's politics. So I just pray that there's no, I can't do this competition because this competition made their competition on this day. I just pray that we can all, everybody can maneuver and do things. And yes, and find other things. It's not just about competition, but put, put you know, find other things for your kids to do. Let them know that there are more positive things out here. Be a positive role model so that they are eventually positive role models because one thing I can say for me I've been drilling since I was nine years old and 
I had nothing but positive role models. One more shout out, one more shout out. One more shout out to all our viewers. Thank you for viewing. Yes. We love you. Stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you for tuning in to season two of What's the, the Beat. What's the Beat?